Hey guys and welcome to another tutorial and I think this is one of the most important tutorials that you should be watching to kind of link all of the situation, the tasks that Kenji uh, performs, you can link them together using the triggers. Think of triggers as links, right? Think of them as a chain. And using triggers, you can connect your tasks and your operation on Kenji together. So let me explain how that works. So for right now, we're gonna have we're gonna create a trigger called when somebody books an appointment. Right? Or somebody fills out a form somewhere. So on Kenji, when somebody appointment when somebody books an appointment in calendar on this when there's an appointment there's a query or no query if it does if it, it contains a phrase or something you can add that or appointment status is new it could be a new appointment then if a new appointment is being created what do you want to happen cool so what I want to happen is we want to add it to a campaign so they can get appointment follow-ups, right? So add to campaign and the campaign could be a confirmation, booking request or booking confirmation campaign. See, that's why it's important to create campaigns for every, every sales situation that you may acquire, right? Uh, you offer nurture we're going to add them to this campaign if they book an appointment cool so now we save it we activate it and now we have a trigger if this event happens another event happens we can add another trigger you know we can add this as an opportunity we can add it to google adwords we can add it to google analytics there's so many options that you can do here you can grand offer all right uh, you can send an SMS. You know, when somebody books an appointment, send the confirmation SMS. Right here. All right. Really easy. Really easy stuff. And this is what Kenji is capable of. Kenji is going to allow you to save a ton of money on Zapier tasks. Because if you can automate everything that happens within Kenji, on Kenji, you don't have to pay extra for Zapier. All right. Although we use Zapier for other stuff, for other outsource agency stuff, as a customer, as somebody who just needs Kenji to make more sales, the triggers should be more than enough for you to automate most of the sales process. Okay. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to settings. Okay. Settings, we want to make sure the company information is all here. We want to make sure the team, you want to update on your team. You can add as many team members as you can. You can have your own teams. You can have teams here. Uh, I think we already went over this, but you can update your uh, request for reviews, right? You can customize communication right here. Uh, when will emails go out to your clients? You can uh, get a review widget when people start reviewing you. You can get the review widget from here. You can get an appointment widget from here as well, which is just like right here. Or you can just copy this calendar code. This is the widget. You just choose whatever calendar you want. And you can copy this and put it on your website or whatever you want to put it on. Pipelines. You can add different pipelines to your sales process. You can have different integrations like Google, Facebook, QuickBooks, Clio, and Stripes to collect payments. You can have your own phone number, of course, but you need to go to Twilio and get a Twilio number. And then it will show up right here. You click on add it. Uh, please visit the video that's about contacts and or, or about conversations and I show you guys what to do to send us your, your Twilio configurations you have your calendars here we've went over that in the scheduling tutorial we have templates that you can add right here message templates